What's good everybody, it's your Hamza from Uther Gaming and today guys I'm coming to you with a brand new video but before we get into it, make sure you guys go ahead and like this video guys is trying to 100 likes as well as go ahead and comment what you guys want to see next and of course subscribe because like I've been saying in our past couple videos, 70% of you guys are not subscribed so go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I know it's possible and again one last thing I'd like to mention check out the link down below where you can find our Patreon where you can take awesome advantages of all the awesome opportunities that we guys provide to you but anyways let's get straight into this video so guys for the first um, combo it is just going to be just a super simple combo for like the invoked uh, dragoon variant and don't worry guys every single one of these combos has a deck file coming um, if not the day after in the upcoming day so stay tuned for some awesome uh, dragoon deck profiles and if you guys want to see a part two make sure you guys comment down below and i'll be sure to get on that part two very very soon but anyways guys let's get straight into the first combo so the first combo is trickstar light stage or any access to uh Korobane, and then magical meltdown or any access to you guessed it alistair again you play a lot of copies of each of these cards so it is possible again this can be anything else like it could be um like candy and it could be anything you actually want but yeah um yeah we're gonna go ahead and activate light stage use light stage effect and this is gonna grab us our Korobane. And then from here, what we're going to do is we are actually going to proceed to Special Corbane. If you guys don't know what Corbane says is, if you control no monsters or all monsters, you control our Trickstar monsters. Especially on this card from your hand, okay? And that's all you really need to know, to be honest. Uh, the other facts, like it's kind of like an honest um, in the battle phase for other Trickstar monsters. But the main thing is, it's a light monster that you can actually special summon for free so it doesn't take up your normal summon that's very important because the next engine we're going to go ahead and activate magic meltdown and use meltdown's effect and meltdown is going to go ahead and grab us alistair the invoker then from here we're going to go ahead and normal alistair and use invoker's effect and invoker is going to grab us invocation cool so now we have a light monster that we special summon and alistair that we normal summon we're going to go ahead and turn these guys away into our Predaplan Verti Anaconda. But again, we're not going to use Anaconda's effect just yet. If you guys understand, this is three summons, so it is under Nibiru as well. Pop the Indication. Indication is going to go ahead and banish Corbane and banish Alistair. And we're going to go ahead and summon out our guy Almiraj. I mean, uh, not Almiraj, uh, Makaba, sorry. So Makaba right there, cool. Now use Indication's effect in the graveyard to shuffle it back into the deck and add Alistair to our hand. This is very important to play around Nibiru, but again, it doesn't matter. So now, fourth summon right here. So now we are going to go ahead and use Anaconda's effect. Because the reason why we had the indication first is Anaconda says if you guys right here, you cannot special summon monster for the rest of the turn, um, activate, you activate this effect. So again, we're going to go ahead and use Anaconda's effect, send the fusion, and again, Red Eyes Fusion is going to go ahead and send the Dark Magician from deck. And I mean, the Red Eyes from deck and the Dark Magician from deck as well. I accidentally added the Dark Magician, but you guys get the gist of it. And we are going to go ahead and special summon our Dragon Red Eyes. So this is the fifth summon and we actually just enabled a negate. Again, this was a two card combo, so you will have like other cards in your hand as well. So don't worry, you will have enough for two negates as well. But yeah, so essentially, it's a two card combo. It nets you with a, a two anything negates or omni negates as you guys want. So Makaba and the Dragoon, and you are guaranteed at least one negate because um, adding uh, the Alistair back to hand with the invocation. But again, since you are playing like an invoke variant with like kind of like a trickstar engine and other specimens, you will have like a lot of cards in hand. You'll have like trap cards, you have monster cards, you have spell cards. So it does give you a lot of cool lines of play. So it does give you nice follow up plays as well because you still have Alistair for an OTK. You still have Dragoon for again an OTK because you can pop two cards. But yeah, so that's the first combo. Now let's get into the second combo. Alright guys, so now we are getting into the second combo, and the second combo again is Scrap Recycler, and if you didn't guess it already, it is an Orcus combo, and again, like I said before, um, there will be a Dragoon Orcus deck file coming soon, like if not in the next two days, like three days, it'll be there, so trust me, you guys just don't want to miss it out, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and proceed to normal summon our Scrap Recycler and use Scrap Recycler's effect, when he's sent, you mill a machine monster. This will go ahead and send our O-Line, and now again, O-Line's effect is if you sent to the graveyard, you can summon a token. Now with the recycler and the token, we are going to go ahead and summon our scrap wyvern. You guys don't know this is like the generic scrap uh, engine. You guys know what wyvern does is he takes two monsters, not two effect monsters. So it's really cool because O line summons the uh, non non effect like token monster, like normal monster. So now we are going to go ahead and use scrap wyvern's effect, which is basically a monster reborn, and then you destroy one card you control. So you use this effect, reborn recycler, and in the same instance it'll pop recycler. And since recycler is a one effect, it'll miss timing. Don't worry about that. And now Wyvern's second effect will trigger. When a scrap monster is destroyed, you can special on one scrap monster from your deck, then pop one card in the field. That's perfectly cool, because we are going to go ahead and summon out our scrap golem. And now Wyvern is going to go ahead and pop itself. Cool. Now we're going to use golem's effect. If you guys don't know what golem's effect is, he actually just reborns a level 4 lower scrap monster. So this will reborn our recycler, and this will trigger our recycler for the second time. 
So we're gonna go ahead and use Recycler. Again, Recycler can send any machine, so we send the World Legacy World 1. Super important we send the World 1 here because of this. So now we are going to go ahead and turn Recycler and Golem away into our uh, Lib the World Keyblade Master. If you guys don't know what Lib says, is cannot be Link Summoned, can only be Link Summoned while you have a World Legacy card in your graveyard. So that's why it's important to send the one. But now there's another effect. During your main phase, set one World Legacy Spell Trap card directly from your deck, but it can't be activated this turn while you have no World Legacy monsters in graveyard. So again, this fulfills the requirement of World Legacy card and a World Legacy monster. So this actually lets us set any card we want and then um, activate it. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and use Lib's effect, and this will of course grab us World Legacy Succession. Again, if you guys don't know what this card does, it's basically a monster born to a zone of points too, and we got a, a zone right here. So we go ahead and use World Legacy Succession. This is going to reborn our Scrap Golem. And if you guys don't know, again, we are going to use Scrap Golem's effect. Again, these are like GX era cards, like 5Ds cards. And they are not a once per turn. This is a 5Ds, I think. Um, they're not once per turn. So now we're going to summon our Scrap Recycler. Now Recycler's effect is going to trigger. And this will go ahead and send our um, Orcus Nightmare. Super cool right there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really the gist of it. Now we're going to go ahead and turn Lib and Recycler away into our Verde Anaconda. And again, you don't need to... Um, use Anaconda's effect right now because we're actually gonna proceed to do some other plays and it didn't matter I'm pretty sure we could just uh, link the golem off as well it doesn't matter but from here what we're going to do is we're gonna use Nightmare's effect targeting anything um, it doesn't matter because I mean yeah it's only during the end phase so technically you can target the golem but again it doesn't matter go ahead and dump the symbol skeleton now what we're gonna do here is we are going to use our Rolexia world wand banish it and target the nightmare and reborn the nightmare now from here we are going to proceed to turn nightmare and golem away into our galatea now we are going to go ahead and use galatea's effect shuffle back the wand and this is going to go ahead and proceed to activate or set the babble or again you can set the crescendo as well it doesn't really matter but now from here what we are going to do is actually we're going to use babble and then we're going to go ahead and use uh skeleton's effect to get our nightmare and the reason why we do this is because we actually just want um skeleton under our dingirsu so from here, we're going to go ahead and summon Ding. Ding effect will trigger to equip the symbol skeleton like this. Boom, boom. Cool. Super cool. And now we turn our Ding Gear suit and our Nightmare away into um, our IP. Or this can be another Galatea, right? It doesn't really matter. It, I guess it's personal preference um, in that point. If you want to make another uh, Galatea, if you have like the Crescendo or IP for like more disruption. Because, you know, like we play Unicorn. Um, we play like Bomber Dragon. And Bomber Dragon works really well because Dragoon can't be disturbed with card effects. But yeah, now we go ahead and use Anaconda's effect because we're done summoning everything now. And this will summon, send our Red Eyes Fusion, send the Dark Magician, and send the Red Eyes to special summon out our Dragoon of Red Eyes. And again, neither player can target or destroy this card with card effects. So again, it's super cool when you go like um, Nightmare, dump something, and then like Symbol, Reborn, go into like a Bomber with these two. And then like your Babbles uh, enabled, so it'll like keep popping, but you have Dragoon, so Dragoon will negate and Bomber will keep triggering. So it is a super cool like little unique effect that you can do. But yeah, so essentially, basically what you do is you pass your turn here. And now what you have is you still have a Dragoon of Red Eyes to like negate the board and like stop your opponent from actually playing the game. And then you still have the Anaconda and the IP. And again, you have a fully loaded graveyard. So you have the symbol, you have the Nightmare. So symbol again will be able to reborn any of these guys. Um, Nightmare's effect will trigger as well. And another cool interaction you can do is you can use IP's effect. Turn Anaconda and IP away into Bomber. And then go ahead and use Symbol's effect. And Symbol can like reborn Ding. And then go chain like one Bomber, chain like two Ding. Ding will equip and then Bomber will trigger nuke the board except Ding. So just kind of cool there because uh, Ding can protect. But again, um, you have like Gizmek. You have all sorts of other plays to trigger your monsters as well. So it is really, really cool how this is all off of one combo. So Orcus is kind of like pretty legit actually going into the next format. So it's actually a force to be reckoned with. But anyways, guys, if you guys want to see a part two, make sure you guys let me know down below. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some more awesome videos. And like I always say, this is Hamza. And keep on shining. Never give up on your dreams. Peace.